We are a group of global health senior design team teammates and we're looking to encourage diabetic patients to control their blood sugar levels. And so doing so, we decided to create uh, some simulation glasses that help portray what it would be like if diabetic patients don't control their blood sugars, don't take their um, insulin or control their eating habits. So here there is a, somewhat of a progression, but retinopathy doesn't really happen in a progression sense. There are many different forms of retinopathy and it happens different in every single patient. And so after speaking with a lot of specialists, we wanted to create a most representative version of each like big stage of retinopathy. And so we created four separate simulations. Uh, for example, this one is what's called macular edema. It's a, vi it's a small dot in the middle of the vision um, and it ends up obscuring just one spot in your vision. So it doesn't seem that bad, but it shows a patient this is how it'll start. And then we, through separate stage, we end up all the way at this one, which is what ends up happening after a long period of time with retinopathy and you end up going blind. So as you can see here, what happens in our kit is you take one of these lenses out and you put them into the frames and you can tell there is a small little gap inside the frames. So you just slide the lenses through these and then you put them on and I can see absolutely nothing right now. So it's helpful to show patients exactly what they're going to be expecting with retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy is actually extremely prevalent in the world, but most people don't even know that they have it. So basically we were charged with designing a pair of glasses. Um, and really what we wanted to do was we wanted to show diabetic patients what it was like to experience diabetic retinopathy so they would be motivated to control their blood sugar levels before it actually got to that point.